In those days, Caesar Augustus issued a decree that a census should be taken of the entire Roman world. This was the first census that took place while Quirinius was governor of Syria, and everyone went to his own town to register. So Joseph also went up from the town of Nazareth in Galilee to Judea, to Bethlehem, the town of David, because he belonged to the house and line of David. He went there to register with Mary, who was pledged to be married to him, and was expecting a child. While they were there, the time came for the baby to be born, and she gave birth to her firstborn, a son. She wrapped him in cloths and placed him in a manger, because there was no room for them in the inn. And there were shepherds living out in the fields nearby, keeping watch over their flocks at night. An angel of the Lord appeared to them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were terrified. But the angel said to them, Do not be afraid. I bring you news of um, of great. I bring you good news of great joy that will be for all the people today in the town of David. A saviour has been born to you. He is the Christ, the Lord. This will be a sign to you. You will find a baby wrapped in cloths and lying in a manger. Suddenly, a great company of the heavenly hosts appeared with the angel, praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to men on whom his favour rests. When the angels had left them and gone into heaven, the shepherds said to one another, Let's go to Bethlehem and see this thing that has happened, which the Lord has told us about. So they hurried off and found Mary and Joseph and the baby who was lying in the manger. When they had seen him, they spread the word concerning what had been told them about this child. And all who heard it were amazed at what the shepherds said to them. But Mary treasured up all these things and pondered them in her heart. The shepherds returned, glorifying and praising God for all the things they had heard and seen, which were just as they had been told. On the eighth day, when it was time to circumcise him, he was named Jesus, the name the angel had given him before he had been conceived. Well, thank you very much for that reading. Uh, That was great. We're going to think a little bit about that reading now. Um, But because it's Christmas, uh, I thought we could begin um, by... uh, well, what well, sort of the things we like to do at Christmas? We like to play games, don't we? We like, to, uh, we like to have a few quizzes, maybe. So I thought we could have our own quiz. Because uh, this year has uh, been uh, full of big news stories. And so I thought we could have our own quiz. So what you will find at the end of all the rows, there is a piece of paper and a pen. I want you to get into teams of about six or eight be good to have a cross-section of uh, 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 just where you're sat. Don't worry. If you don't know the person where you're sat, make friends quickly. That's fine. What we're going to do, I am going to give you a news story, and you have to guess the month. That's it. Ten questions. Guess the month from this year. Big news stories, okay? Here we go. Big news stories quiz 2023. Have you got paper here? You might not have paper, have you? I don't know if any of the, uh, if there's spare paper still at the back, we could get some to the chapel. Okay, right. So you've made friends, which is great. And uh, we're going to go quickly, go quick fire through. Um, if you can make, you know, if you've got an electronic device, you might, oh, there's some paper coming around. You might be able to put it on an electronic device. And we're going to see who's the winner. Who gets the most out of 10? You have to guess the month. Okay, big news stories. Nice, easy one to get us going and get us into the groove. Okay, here's the first one. What month did this happen? Storm uh, Erin, Ellen, sorry, and Fergus. It may not have been that long ago, but a nice, easy one. That's just outside the church when the tree came down. So, a a big news story there, number one. Okay, we'll move swiftly on. If you think you know, just write down the month. Here's number two. Oh, look at this. West Ham United win the Europa League. Now, there aren't many of us West Ham fans, I know. Uh, But this is a little bit earlier in the year. When was this? Which month? Just write down the answer when you think this might have been. Okay, here we go. Number three. Number three. This is the third one. 
Barbenheimer. Do you remember that? Barbie and Oppenheimer were released in the same month this year in cinemas. Which month were they released? Here's our quiz. Which month, Barbenheimer? Okay. Question number four. This is Turkey. And if you look closely, you can see that this olive grove is split in two. There was an earthquake in Turkey this year and actually affected parts of Syria as well. What month did this earthquake happen? Earth, massive, massive earthquake in Turkey. That's number four. Okay, I, I hope I can get away with this one, number five. I'm really sorry if I can't, okay? But here's number five. Somebody was arrested and had this picture taken. What month did Donald Trump get arrested? What month did that happen this year? That's number five. Okay. Now we'll move on to number six. Have you got a month? You got a month for that? Number six. Here's number six. There was a coronation this year. Coronation of King Charles and Queen Camilla. What, what month was that this year? There's, there's, there's our, there's our uh, number six. We're sticking on a royal theme for number seven. One of the royals released a book. It was called Spare. But which month? Which month did that come out this year? There's a question for you. There's a question for you. Which month did this book come out? Okay, next question. Question number eight. Very sadly, at some point in our, in our year, we had the, this uh, uh, sad attack by terrorists on, on, uh, on Israel. This is a picture from, uh, from that. But what month did that, those, those Hamas attacks actually happen? When did, they, when did they begin? When did that conflict begin? Two more to go. Two more. Are you ready? Number nine. Oh, no. Sadness. The Ladies' World Cup final. Our Lionesses got defeated by Spain. But in which month? Which month did the Lionesses lose? Which month was that? And here's the last one. Here's the last one for you. If you're biscuits and chocolate lovers, you may have been dismayed by this news. But at which... Uh, at which month did the Caramac get discontinued? This chocolate bar was discontinued this year. But when? When? Stopped. They're not making it anymore. Stopped. Finished. Finito. Okay, are we feeling confident? <laughs> We're feeling confident. Okay, let's rattle through the answers. I'm going to trust you to mark your own answers. Remember... God sees everything, so he knows if you're going to be cheating. I should have told you as well I have those mobile phones put away. I don't know, there may have been a, a little temptation to use mobile phones. Hopefully none of you have done that. Here we go. I trust you to mark your own. Here, here is the first answer. It was this month, the start of this month, December, right at the start. Storm, Ellen and Fergus. West Ham, mighty, mighty Gerard Bowen. Uh, we won the Europa Cup in June. It was June. It was June. Which month was Barbenheimer or Barbie and Oppenheimer released? July. It was July. There we are. Summer blockbusters. There were our summer blockbusters. That devastating earthquake in Turkey was February. That was right at the start of the year. Donald Trump was arrested in August. It was in August. Who can remember when the coronation was? May. It was May. That's right. The coronation was in May. On that royal theme, Harry's memoir was in January, right at the start of the year, right the way back. There we go. The Hamas attacks began in October. Seems uh, unbelievable. 
Uh, our brave lion, they lost in August. That was August. And then it was only, it was only in November that the Caramac was discontinued. Okay. How are we going to do this then? Totting them up, totting them up. Hands up. Hands up if you've got above five. Who had five or more? Keep your hands in the air. Five or more. Oh, we might have a tie break. Put your hand, uh, keep your hands up if you've got six or more. Oh, a few have gone down. Seven or more. Seven, seven, a few sevens over here. If you're eight or more. Eight, 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 some eights over here and some eights over here and eights over there. Oh, we're going to, nine or more. We've lost, oh, we've got, a, anybody, nine, nine or more. So we've got three for eights. We've got some here. And who had eight there? Well done. And some over here. Give them a round of applause. Well done. <laughs> Woo! We have a prize of some heroes. But do you know what? You're all winners tonight. Because as you go, everybody will get a hero as we leave tonight. So we're not going to give them out just yet. But make sure if you are a winner, well done. Uh, you will pick up some, um, uh, some, some hero, uh, heroes later on. So there have been some good news stories, haven't there, this year? And there have also been some tough news stories as well. There have been some difficult news stories. And you know what? People 2,000 years ago would have had similar, similar experiences. There would have been good news stories and bad news stories, more popular stories and less well-known stories. But actually, the big news story back then, 2,000 years ago, wasn't actually about this census No, the big news story was about the birth of Jesus. Now, it may have seemed to some a small insignificance, but it is actually the biggest news story of all, of all time. It's the biggest good news story as well, actually. And this is what Ebenezer in our little drama earlier on got to hear about, and he got to read about that in the the little piece of paper that he was reading earlier on. And you know what? This big, uh, uh, this this um, good news story was so big that God drafted in some angels. This is what we just heard in um, in the reading. Suddenly, a great company of the heavenly host appeared with the angel, praising God and saying, "Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to men on whom His favor rests." What was? This massive news, this biggest news that the angels declared to the shepherds. Now, I need your help. If you would like to help me, I need you to put your hand up. And I've got some volunteers at the back. They're going to come around and they're going to give you some pieces of paper. So can we have our our volunteers just go around? If you've got your hand up, that would be great. Have we got our pieces of paper? Um, they're coming now, so Jep, just down the sides and um, and down the middle, if you can just hand out. And keep your hand up. There should, be, there should be enough for, for everybody who needs it. Because what's going to happen when I say, according to the color of the piece of paper, you're going to need to come to the front to help me. So we'll get these dished out as quickly as we can. You can, you know, look a little bit more urgent, Thomas. That's all right. You know, just run around. That's fine. There's a hand waving at the back. Clara's got some down here. Debbie's got some down here. So if you look, if you look to your right. Oh, Thomas has run out. Uh, Debbie, Debbie's got some more, Thomas, so just go and grab those. You can run. That's great. It's Christmas Eve. People do want to get home. Here's some more. Clara's got some more. Some at the back, if we haven't got enough. Some at the back. Clara, one or two hands there. Thomas, right to the back. Right to the back. Right to the back. There we go. Right. So I'm going to call you up then, a few at a time, Okay. And what I need first is who has a letter on a, on a pink card, a pinkish, a pinkish card. There should just be three of you. So if I see, I can see one, two, three, four, five. Not a lilac-y one, but a sort of a pinky, a pinky ready. Not lilac, but a, no, not, that's a sort of a lilac-y purpley one. I need a pink. If you've got a pink, that's it. This one here. Come up, come up to the front. Front, there we go. So we've got one here. You stand there. Yep, yep. You come up. And another one. Brilliant. Okay, so you can stand here. Let's, right, let's lift those letters up. What have we got? Oh, we need to guess the word. What have we got here? Can anyone work this out? Oh, what is it? What is it? Joy. Okay, so uh, what do we need to make this right? You go to the end. The Y goes to the end. J comes over here, and, and, Z, and, and then the O stands in the middle. That's great. We've got joy. Joy. Here it is in verse 10 of that reading that we heard. The angel said to them, don't be afraid. 
Now, you've got to imagine, if you've suddenly seen an, an angel host appearing on the hillside, you're probably quite scared. Don't be afraid. I bring you good news of great joy that will be for all the people. Now, as I said earlier, there's not many of us West Ham fans here, but back in June... We were pretty elated. I mean, that was a joyful occasion. There was much singing going on. There was, there was lots of, of celebrating when we beat Fiorentina in that final. But actually, this new story is about something much bigger than that. Because it's all about what God is doing. It's about the joy that comes from seeing God do something amazing. Great. So you can pop those down. Just drop drop them down on the floor. That would be great. Thanks very much. You can go back and uh, have a seat. Thank you very much. You can give a round of applause if you want. Um, There we go. So, what next? What next? Who has got a letter on a blue card? If you've got a blue card, come on up. That's right. Just come up and stand. It doesn't matter what order you come on up. We're going to have some more word guessing. And if you've got a blue card... Great, come on up, come on up. What have we got? Come and stand here. Yep, you can come and stand here. Now lift up, lift up the letters. Let's see what we've got. See if we need some help from, from the... Oh, what have we got? Up, up, up. I'm going to look on the screen. People, people. So let's see if we can get this right into people. So we need a P at the start. Here we go. And an O, that's right. P-E, can we have the E next to here? Oh, we've got another E, well done. Yeah, that wouldn't have worked. You go on the end then. There's the L. Now hold them up nice and, nice and high again. Is that right? Have we got that right? If you hold up the L, just turn. That's it. Brilliant. People. People. Here it is in verse 10 again. Let's have a look at verse 10. The angel said to them, Do not be afraid. I bring you good news of great joy that will be for all the people. This is joy for the people. Now just think back to that World Cup um, final in August. Spain... Well, they were on top of the world, weren't they? They were on top of the world when they beat our lionesses in August. We weren't. But this news, this news isn't just for some people and not for others. This news is for all the people. It's for everyone. This this means it's for rich people and poor people. It means it's for tall people and short people. It means it's for everybody. It means it's for Spanish people and English people. Everybody. Great. Give them a round of applause. You can put, the, uh, put these down here. That's super. Thank you very much. But why is this good news? Why is it good news? So now, I know some of you were confused at the start. I need that, those purpley lilac cards. Who's got the purpley lilac cards? I should have six of you. Let's come and stand up in a line. Let's see what we've got, what letters we've got. So we can work out why this is good news. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. I should have one more. Um, it might, oh, here we go. Super. Here we go. Come on, let's have a see what we've got. Right. Let, hold the letters up. Oh, right. This one. Uh, anybody help us out? Christ. That's right. It's Christ, which is part of Christmas. Somebody shout out Christmas, because Christ is at the start of that word Christmas. So we need a C at the beginning, then we need an H. Who's got the H? Where's it? Yep, come on then, let's get the H in here then, and there's an R. What what have we got? An R? Yep, come on then, you come around here to the R, and the I, and the S, and the T. Is that right? Hold it up. There we go, Christ. Let's have have a look at that again in verse 11. This is the good news. Today... In the town of David, a saviour has been born to you. He is Christ, the Lord. See, this isn't just any baby. Jesus isn't just any baby. This is the king that God has long promised throughout much of history, throughout most of the Bible, up until this this point. For thousands of years, this king, this Christ has been promised and now he's here. He's here. It's brilliant. He's king over everyone and everything. That's what the word Christ means. But Jesus didn't just come as a, as a good king, as a, as a teacher king, uh, to tell us how to behave, to tell us what we needed to do to be acceptable before God. No, he came As a rescuing Christ, as a rescuing king. So we can put our our cards down. That's great. Thanks very much. And we're going to think, well done, yep, give him a round of applause. Thank you very much. We're collecting someone here. 
And we're thinking about how Jesus became, uh, came as a rescuing king. So now I need those who have got green cards. Who's got green cards? Come to the front, come on. We've got one. Uh, now, this is, this, is our, this is my longest word, okay? So uh, we need, right, we've got an O. Yeah, we need some space on here. This might be a bit trickier. You might need a bit more help from, um, here we go. Oh, just let's go forward a little bit. Let's all go take a step forward because I don't want you to get, that's it, that's great. And then you can come here. Right, what have we got here? Oh, a sure, oh, yeah. <laughs> what have we, Saviour, Saviour. So what does Saviour begin with? S. So we need the S at the front, S at the front. Then we have the A. Then we need a V. Who's got the V? Here we go, the V. If you come in here, that's super. Saviour, uh, an I. I, yep, yeah, I, O. And so, yeah, if you move down to the end there and the U with you, I think that just about gets it for us, doesn't it? Let's have a look. Is that, is that spelled correctly? I think it is, isn't it? Here it is in verse 11 again. Today, in the town of David, a saviour has been born to you. A saviour. He is Christ the Lord. This is what the angel calls Jesus. Saviour. That's what Jesus means. A saviour. Someone who rescues the one who saves. You see, the one who comes down from the purity and the holiness of heaven, he is the one who comes into the mess of this world with all its war that we saw in that quiz, with all its natural disaster that we saw in that quiz, with all its division represented by sort of political figures and things that we saw in that quiz. In that quiz, he is the one who comes down not just into the mess of this world, but into the mess of our own lives as well, with all our own selfishness and, and hatred and, 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 and greed and disobedience. And he offers us rescue. He offers us the chance to be saved from all of that. Jesus, the rescuer. And the reason he's a rescuer is because he came to die. He came to die on the cross. And we can't divorce the cross from what happens, what we remember at Christmas when Jesus came to the manger. He came to the manger to live a life and end up on the cross. And this is the whole reason that Jesus came. Okay, kids, you can put the saviour word down. That's great. Thank you very much. Let's give him another round of applause. And our last word is about what this rescue and what this saving actually achieves what Jesus did on that cross. So who's got a letter on a yellow card? There should be some yellow, I think five lefts, if you've been very patient. Well done. Come up to the front. Let's see what word we've got here on on yellow card. That's it. You can stand there. Don't worry about standing on there we go. So we've got an E. We've got a C. Let's Let's hold up those cards so everyone can see them. And we've got a P here. Now, what have we got here? Seep. 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 Ooh. Any ideas? Peace, peace, yes, peace, okay. So we want the P at the start, so if you can come to the front. The C needs to come about uh, two down here. We need an E, then we need an A, so if you can come. uh, That's it, yeah, that's fine, P-E-A. Oh, well sorted out. You didn't need me telling you what to do, did you? Look at that, that's great. Peace. So let's look at what the angels sang about in verse 14. They sang this. Glory to God in the highest and on earth. Peace. That was very peaceful. Should we try it again with a bit more audience participation? Glory to God in the highest and on earth. Peace. 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 It's so important to men on whom his favor rests. Now, when we think about this, it's a really important word, actually, peace, isn't it? I mean, I bet most of the people in Gaza tonight, right now, long for peace. I'm sure those many in Israel do, too. Not to mention those in Ukraine, those in Sudan those in Yemen, those in other countries all across our world. According to the Geneva Academy, there are more than 100 armed conflicts going on across our earth at the moment. More than 100. But the biggest news ever is about peace that is even more important and precious than that peace. Can you imagine that? A peace more important than, than, than that physical peace on our, on our earth? And it's this, that when we accept the rescue that Jesus offers, when we realize that he died for our sins and ask for his forgiveness, then we have 
peace with God. Without that peace, we are his enemies. And we're destined to an eternity without him. But the greatest news story ever is that if we accept his peace, we are not his enemies, but we are rescued. We are restored. We are forgiven friends. We're adopted into God's own family. So kids, you can drop the letters. Now, while you're still here, I now need you to do me a favor, okay? Amongst all these letters, I'd like you to find me a J. I'd like you to find me an E. I'd like you to find me an S. And I'd like you to find me a U. And I'd like you to find me an S. If you need a hand, let me know, okay? So a J, an E, an S, a U. And have we got another S? There should be another S. Can you see it? Oh, well done. Yep, go on. There we go. Look at this. Good. Well done. Absolutely. What have we got? Jesus. And now we need some peace. (laughs) And this peace, actually, is only possible because of the baby Jesus who we can see here. This incredible, this unique baby who would grow up to be the man who would die on the cross for us. So let's give these guys a round of applause. Thank you. You can put those letters down. Maybe you're here uh, this evening and you would like to to think more about this peace and what this peace that Jesus offers us is. Um, There's a a way you can do that. You can do that by uh, speaking to either myself or Mike, who's leading the service this afternoon. Or we're putting on some sessions in January that Mike's going to tell you about a little bit later called Hope Explored. And we'd love to invite you back for those. In fact, there's some little flyers in the church seats around. and You'll be very welcome to take uh, that.